The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. One, two, three, four. Testing. One, two, three, four. There we go. Got sound now? Yeah, I think, I think uh, Skype's got some problems today for me. Anyway, anytime you're ready. Okay. I think we've got our technical problems taken care of. This is your one and only squeezably soft host once more into the breach dear friends do we go today of course uh, the man is trying to keep me down today so that you can't hear my words of wisdom well we've made it through we persevered we've uh, destroyed the gremlins in skype today and we're moving on we're up almost 24 points on the s&p cash and uh, we're doing it on 1.9 billion shares. So just a little bit more than we had yesterday. Of course, you know, up 24 points. We're up at the higher part of this trading range that we've had now for, what, week, 10 days that we've been talking about. But uh, it's, it's, I think there is a great deal more about one thing. And that one thing is short interest. And... I told my subscribers uh, uh, late last week uh, and Monday, I think, again, and that is the, there are some old chestnuts in trading. Those chestnuts are generally there because they are true. And uh, these sayings, you know, don't short a quiet market. Well, don't short a market with lots of declining volume, which is what we've had over the last three or four or five days. And... You know, I'm, I'm actually long uh, many stocks. We had one actually in the Tech Insider take off like a Roman candle today. And these are stocks that did pretty good job of testing previous lows on lighter volume. Uh, is the volume now that these things have taken off? And by taken off, I think uh, my subscribers are somewhere between 20 and 30 percent higher in the last, uh, what, 10 days or so in a longer term. <laughs> TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. 
Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesce, Zavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Dave takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And we're back, and hopefully we got our technical issues. I've figured out what it is. My next-door neighbor is moving, and, of course, the Atlas van line is busy backing up and hitting the power lines and, of course, the Verizon Fios line that comes in to the White House. Since it's my house, it's the White House. Anyway, hopefully uh, I went out there and yelled at them profusely, waved a fist, and told them to quit it. But uh, uh, don't look like a bunch of uh, people looking for a, uh, a big uh, test on physics or anything, so we don't know. So if we get lost again, just bear with us. I, hopefully, I think they figured out that uh, running into electrical poles, probably not a good career decision, especially if they're going to get fried. Of course, those power lines are a little higher than the truck, but uh, the Verizon line is not, and they busy uh, were able to yeah, 
<laughs> it's not a long career if you're going to continue to run into power lines, I don't think. And you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, I hope for everybody will sit still and we'll get through the rest of it. We'll go to our next break at the bottom of the hour. So we're going to have 14 minutes to go here. Uh, as we said and started the day, you know, we're up 24 points on the S&P cash. Volume is better, but not great, but not uncommon. Uh, as I said, uh, we're long mini stocks. Some of them, in fact, the uh, new uh, short interest rates are going to be coming out here today or tomorrow. But uh, most of these stocks uh, that we were looking at were short probably 12 or 13. I'm expecting with a lot of the action I've been witnessing that we're going to see 15, 16, 18, 20 days to cover on a lot of these stocks. And uh, that's the equivalent of going into a powder keg you don't know what a powder keg is. Where they used to have giant kegs full of gunpowder. And uh, waving around a sparkler and just hoping that you don't trip and, and uh, drop the thing into a, a giant 50 or 100 gallon um, thing of uh, black powder. But uh, if you are short, especially if you're short in individual equity, uh, if you aren't watching the way that that moves and the ability for that to grab and uh, hold a lot more short interest in it, be very careful. Uh, I don't even think your stops are going to work. Uh, if you're in a stock that's uh, four or five days to cover, maybe you're okay. But if uh, you're shorting stocks or thinking that you're going to be a short a stock that's got 10 days to cover, uh, you better watch out because all the Fed has to do is move the wrong way and they will take you to the cleaners. They won't take you to the river. Great song, by the way, by David Byrne and Talking Heads. Talking, take me to the river. They will take you to the cleaners, which is not any fun at all. Anyway, uh, it, is, uh, it is an interesting day. And as always, we'd like to start the show off with a little bit of history, even though we're getting kind of behind the curve here on today's show. And hopefully they don't run into the power poles again that it's all just a little bit of history repeating today bearing brothers one of england's leading investment banks has disclosed its loans to what we now would call emerging markets argentina chile have gone back and that firm will go bust unless the bank of england comes to its aid so in 1890 on this day we have the first Central bank intervention. The bank steps in, rounding up its rescue syndicate of other investment banks and assuming 28.5 million pounds worth of bearings liability. Uh, that's probably when a pound actually bought something. Uh, thus was averted what would probably have been the greatest panic in the world's history, even by today's standards, as that was a massive amount of cash back then. But uh, since then, of course, once someone does that, Everybody else has to do it. And the question is, would we better be better off uh, with a lot more smaller failures earlier? And uh, I think we've kind of come to that decision finally after the uh, banking crisis of 2007 and 2008. But uh, eh, not a whole lot other than that. Anyway, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can post messages in the den. And I know a lot of people are sitting here watching the market with bated breath to see how we close out here today. And uh, let me just make sure that everything is uh, warmed back up and uh, see how this volume's coming in. Eh, a little bit of volume here in the first... 10 minutes of the show uh, as we close in on 2 billion shares. Uh, but again, I'm thinking that we're probably going to continue to drift up. Option market makers have continually over the last uh, four or five days bet on a close above 2,000 on the S&P cash. Uh, it doesn't look like they flinched. They came down about five points yesterday uh, from about uh, 20, um, 20 to 2015. Uh, but that still means that, you know, we could close up around 2,000. Uh, those numbers tend to converge over time. And with a VIX, uh, what do we got the VIX up at? 22 and a half right now. It would be highly unlikely if any of these options uh, actually make any money. Uh, we should start seeing the enormous 
an enormous uh, pull down in uh, the co uh, the price of premiums in options over the next three days. And of course, the next two days are going to be very light going in to the Fed announcement. In fact, uh, what are we off? Uh, we're about, what, 23 hours and 39 minutes away from when they're supposed to come out. Of course, last time uh, they jumped the gun by 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, I'm not surprised that that couldn't happen yet again. But uh, at least we're supposed to be within two days of the actual announcement. But the problem is we've got massive, and I mean not just sort of kind of, big short interest. This is the kind of short interest that we didn't even see when the banks were imploding. So be very careful out there. Everybody has gone from bearish to extremely bullish. I mean, uh, bullish to extremely bearish out here. And uh, these high short interest rates can mean that you can have incredibly fast and wicked moves as the shorts go to cover. As always, I've said on this show, the weakest hands in any game of the stock market are always the short players. They are 10 times more likely to have a day trade than other folks and much easier to move. And, of course, once they get moving, they make all the other short players themselves get ready to move. So you can have these incredibly, even in hugely bearish markets, have incredibly fast moves to the upside. I suspect that that's what we're looking at over the next couple of days, although... 30 or 40 points higher in the S&P cash is probably not anything more than a rounding error if we look at this thing a month in the future. I don't think probably a big deal, especially on individual stocks. If you've got high concentrations and have huge positions on compared to your net uh, value of your trading portfolio, it can seem like it. It may mean that you're just trading uh, too much and not using a good risk reward settings for your account. Anyway, uh, other news out here, Porsche versus Audi versus Tesla. A lot of people are making a lot of hay out of both Porsche and Audi coming out with new electric vehicles, and a lot of these having better range than the current Tesla. I don't know what the next one's going to have. Uh, there are some reasons why the Porsche and Audi systems, I suspect, have better range. And that is not because they have much bigger or much larger um, short positions. I mean, uh, not short positions, but uh, batteries. Uh, they are actually wiring their batteries at much higher levels. And why this uh, poses some safety risks that I have a feeling had to be engineered out. Basically, they're working at volts in the 880-volt range, according to Porsche and Audi, where Tesla is somewhere around that uh, 440 volts, so using about half the volts. If you've ever taken a basic course in electricity uh, or AC motors, you'll figure out just how efficient the motors are at higher voltages compared to lower voltages, and a great deal of uh, the range is out here. But uh, even the Tesla S, uh, X SUV is already talking about a range of 240 miles, and the Quattro has the baby th uh, maybe 310. While neither one of these would be enough for me, they are starting to get up there, and uh, it could be just a war of who has the best range. The battery pack, of course, much a little bit bigger than the Tesla's, uh, for the uh, Audi at 95 uh, kilowatt hours. But uh, we shall continue moving on with that. Uh, some other questions out there. We had a big win in the Tech Insider today. Not so much uh, my discussion about that, but uh, it, there is a great deal more about... Um, how do I get... Uh, get away. Stop it. Now, I'm going to have to figure out how to get rid of this stuff here so it doesn't bop in front of me anymore. Now, anyway, uh, there is an old story on Wall Street. And uh, that story is, of course, about why people or insiders can buy. And the old saying is that Wall Street insiders only buy for one reason, and that is that they think the stock is going to go up. There are a lot of reasons for them to sell. They've got to pay taxes, they've got to put their kids through school, they've got to buy a boat, a house, a car, 
all the other stuff that makes them live up to the level that they think that they're entitled to as lords of the world, as CEOs and companies. But there's only one reason again, and I bought uh, this one stock in the Tech Insider um, for a variety of reasons. I liked all the issues in it, but one of the best reasons was that uh, in a stock that had not seen insider buying in a long time, saw insider buying. And this is pretty much at the worst part where the market was literally acting like it was going to implode. And uh, at those times, um, and I think those subscribers that went ahead and uh, pulled the trigger when it seemed like it was uh, only dark, getting darker, but have now been rewarded if they would have bought exactly when the announcement went out, they were probably up 30%, at least up 20%. Uh, but a lot of times, uh, you've got to have a lot of courage. And uh, yeah, only after years of trading does it make it a little easier out there to uh, go against the grain. But um, one of my winners out here, probably a huge amount of it is based on the fact that I saw them do some insider buying. And again, if you are shorting companies with the insiders buying, you do so at your own peril. Other things going on out here, Fitbit uh, was up 5% uh, earlier today, and uh, so was Blue Buffalo. These are some rather new IPOs. There is very little to suggest that anything other uh, than uh, many of these companies that were underwriters of these stocks are coming out as these stocks are getting beat up over the last couple of days. These recent IPOs were ridiculous. Uh, Fitbit, of course, was the risk uh, electronic uh, watch uh, health monitor stock that was ridiculously priced and, of course, jumped up fairly strong on its IPO. Blue Buffalo was a dog food company, and it may be the best dog food company in the world, and it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, if, you know, if there was one thing uh, that I would say that you need to watch on these upgrades or these stocks bouncing, at least temporarily, would be that uh, are all these analysts that are out here giving these upgrades also working for the exact same company, of course, that underwrote these stocks? And the answer to probably about 10 or 20 of these that I went through today is yes. These are all self-serving, and as, as uh, far as I can tell, um, it is uh, why you can't uh, go to hell for doing it. I look at it as a lie if they don't, in the same sentence, say that we're the underwriters of these stocks. You're telling me a big fat lie. I think they are big fat liars because they're not telling you that, of course, that their job is to keep the price of that stock higher. So why well, don't pay any attention to analysts anyway? They do have an effect for the weaker minded. And of course, uh, these are not the droids that you want. Huh? Everybody loves Star Trek, uh, not Star Trek. Everybody loves Star Wars. But uh, a lot of people are uh, feeble minded and they actually pay any attention to these morons with their upgrades and downgrades. But not me. Big fat liars. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. And start looking at the stocks. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. 
Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. And I'm getting a few things turned back on now that around the house that had to be turned back on. But uh, we'll get moving along. During the break, and of course, they've moved the truck, so I think we're good for the last half of this show. They're not going to run into the power poles anymore. But uh, I, I wouldn't like driving a big uh, semi moving truck, it's got to be kind of a horrible job. I mean, not horrible, but I wouldn't, I, I'd always be afraid I was going to run over somebody or no, just can't see anything around it, especially. I mean, on the highway, one thing. Back in uh, residential streets and stuff and moving them around, I mean, you just can't see anything running into trees, all that stuff. Anyway, uh, back on to the market, which is already in progress. Uh, if you have not been watching Infotainment TV for financial infotainment, what we do have out here is, of course, a uh, big move uh, in technology today, not uncommon during this week, which is Dreamforce. It is Salesforce's a big and massive uh, tech party. Has a lot to do with um, CRM itself, but uh, they've turned this into kind of a new kind of Comdex, especially for cloud, cloud folks. They're pushing uh, basically their new cloud system called Thunder for the Internet of Things. Um, but I don't know how much you really need a uh, a all new cloud to handle it. Maybe it's actually for the people that are making the devices. Maybe you know downloading new software or something like that. But uh, most of these devices, pretty small memory, 
I mean, they're going to be pretty small devices. Uh, I can't imagine that, you know, it's not like these things are generating massive amounts of data, although I think you could. But if you have a doorknob that's, you know, hooked to uh, a Wi-Fi connector, so it opens up 10 times a day, it's not a lot of data. Or you have a thermostat, yeah, there's not a lot of data. It's nothing compared to something like YouTube that has uh, got a fire hose of data all the time sending out uh, video or something like that. Anyway, they've, uh, if you're not familiar, there's going to be about 150,000 people there this week in San Francisco. They have brought in cruise ships to dock in downtown San Francisco to uh, get enough extra hotel rooms. Uh, it is a big deal, and uh, I think we're going to continue to see stuff. Now, this, this isn't Salesforce stuff. They bring in a lot of people to give presentations for startups and other ideas, but uh, a lot of the big guys, including people from Microsoft and uh, others, big CEOs will be talking over the next couple of days. You'll probably see some incidental movements in some of these larger companies on some of the stuff that they talk about at this show. So just be aware of it uh, in technology. Uh, now, hopefully this is all working correctly. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's upping, updating. Uh, we're up uh, 25 points on the S&P cash, uh, 2.1 billion shares, as I suspect that we're probably going to slide higher into the FOMC announcement. And uh, yeah, it could be kind of interesting. And then, of course, a lot of volatility, but that's going to be Thursday at 2. Um, there's not a whole lot more to talk about, at least in the news. From what I'm looking at, we're going to get to charts quick as possible. Uh, as we said, we were talking about Fitbit. Let me update this to see if there's any difference. Down a little bit. Um, these IPOs haven't been out here this long. Of course, they pushed them up and markets falling apart. These things are coming back down to earth. In fact, this is coming back uh, awful close to the previous lows. And the chart doesn't look all that bad. I'm just saying that these guys are probably a little self-serving in their dubious upgrades of companies like Fitbit, GoPro, and the, and the rest. And they're all, I think, uh, somebody's out there waving a red flag in front of any bulls left in the market. I think a lot more stocks out here uh, have a much better opportunity to do a short squeeze. And the, uh, those are the ones I'm playing, not these more well-known ones. Uh, Buffalo is also another one. Uh, Mr. Buffalo is up 4% today. Uh, if you're not familiar with this stock, it's B-U-F-F. -F. I don't think it's been out as long. You know, it's well, about the same thing. Blue Buffalo, uh, it was ridiculous when it came out. In fact, uh, a lot of people comment on it. And within a week or two, uh, they made shares available and people were already shorting it. It's uh, pretty much off, what, about a third of when this thing came out. You can see it bounced today. It's not a huge volume stock, but it continues to be problematic that uh, these last to the well IPOs ever got out the door at the prices they did. Uh, doesn't mean you have to buy them there. Eventually, these things will come down. Blue Buffalo seems to be a very good brand of dog food. I, it's just hard for me to ever figure out that these guys are ever going to kind of make the margins that would ever justify the initial IPO pricing of a lot of these. And see what else do we have going on here. Give me a second. Still playing a little catch up for what's going on out here. Wanted to look at some other stocks. UPS is up fairly strong. I haven't had a chance to look at this guy yet. Again, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. United Postal Service is up. Decent volume the last few days has been fairly quiet. This thing has popped up. Um, I would have liked to seen the volume in this last leg back down uh, uh, come up a little lighter. I would have also liked that you didn't have a lot of volume uh, on or, and around that 94 level. Um, I don't think that you can say that UPS is out of the woods yet. It did break the previous low and bounce back into the trading range, but it did so on too much volume. My thought right now, and we talked about it yesterday, is that uh, I've checked it out and it does look like there is a lot of buying from the Chinese for crude at these lower prices. And I would continue to think that uh, maybe um, the crude prices may be a little higher 
uh, in the near future. Maybe uh, these bounces are based on the thought that crude will be low for forever. I don't think it is. Uh, Andy Heck has a bunch of articles out on uh, uh, both about.com and Seeking Alpha. You may want to uh, uh, check them out. Bitcoin versus uh, gold is one of them. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, at the same time, of course, the gentleman that was running Mount Gott, the, probably the premier Bitcoin exchange, uh, was uh, arraigned. He was a ranger charged yesterday with uh, stealing $2.7 million uh, of Bitcoins. So I guess they're saying that there were something if a government charges you for stealing something. So maybe they're in a little catch-22 of actually saying that Bitcoin's a currency. Don't know. Uh, what I do know, though, is that uh, I don't think a lot of Bitcoin uh, brokerages. I do think a lot more about the blockchain, and I think... His article actually talks a bit about that. So we'll, well, we'll move on to that. But uh, Nice articles out there from Andy. Make sure you check them out. Check out his show at 5 o'clock. He's been very instrumental in helping me. Well, a lot of, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time on commodities. I'm learning a lot more from him on those. Uh, American Airlines is up. And uh, what else do we have out here? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. American Airlines is kind of a, just a little reversal of yesterday. Certainly no volume in this. And I've been wondering, oh, this is uh, Alcoa, excuse me, not American Airlines. Um, it looks to me like maybe the we still could see lower prices in a lot of these uh, commodities. This bounce off the lows, not exciting, but certainly the volume up today on Alcoa is uh, telling me that there isn't a lot to this. I don't think there are a lot of people short Alcoa either. So I can't think that you'd want to play it for a short squeeze out here, but uh, continues to be an issue. Um, SDRL. Another one, up almost 10%. Today, C-Drill. Again, we've been talking about some of these companies that look like maybe they had been bottoming. Um, this one came in a million shares lighter than the August 24th low. Not enough to me buy this, but any port in a storm and even any slider volume was probably enough to get a bounce out of some of these. But just uh, crude being up today by itself was a issue. Um, but I tell you what, what I really like about these and what make, makes me think that there's probably a short-term move in crude is the amount of volume on this leg up in C drill. Let me make this chart just a little bit different. If you look at the August 24th low, it came in with 15 million shares. But as it goes up, volume really came in. In fact, on the 28th, was doing very well. It made a high on the 31st of August out here, and that was at 17 million shares. So you got a high volume, or at least a good volume high, pretty much at that 31st uh, August high. But when you came down, the volume has been nothing. I mean, you had a couple of days where volume kind of picked up back down around these lows. But um, probably wouldn't buy it. But I tell you what, I wouldn't be betting on lower prices if dogs like Sea Drill out here can find at least a temporary bottom. I mean, this stock was uh, on May 6th was uh, 15.44, and it's what a third of that price now, a little more than third. Uh, at some point, these things are going to have some value and, and or some wicked short covering rallies. Uh, so we're looking at that. Another stock um, that we were actually short da, 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 and uh, is having a little rip out here is GW Pharmaceuticals. If you're not familiar with this company, it is a pump by Kramer uh, on, in the uh, pharmaceutical business. They are the only company that truly has uh, the rights to sell marijuana legally uh, in some kind of pill form. They've been working a lot of stuff. I didn't see the headlines or any news on this. I'm going to pop that up for just a second to see if there is any true news on this. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, they had a good study come out. I'm not exactly sure what the stock is worth, mostly because Kramer continues to pound the table on it occasionally and you never i don't watch a show but uh it gets a lot of retail investors in it and of course uh eventually most all the stocks 
he pounds the table on, end up start looking like uh, carbo ceramics. I think it's CCR. Is that it? Or is it CRR? I think it's CRR, uh, which is a good example uh, to see what he can do to a retail stock. So all you have to look at it, at it as, as carbo ceramics. This company was worth 156 bucks, but of course, you know, once he gets something started with the retail traders, it can get a life of its own. And, uh, of course, this is a $156 stock. It's a $20 stock in the last few days. Uh, but uh, just be aware that you've got somebody with a megaphone out there that can continually harp on a particular stock like that. Uh, don't know if uh, I haven't had a chance to check that out, but it would be very interesting. Uh, on stocks to the downside, we've got PEB. And uh, Pebblebrook Hotel Trust, this one down, eh, big spike. I guess it's come back a little bit out here. Reported more than anticipated hotel demand during August and September. And revenues pars. Uh, nice spike. I guess it got back into the trading range out here uh, after the uh, market continued to move up. I um, eh, have to take a look at that one later. Uh, LHO is another one. And uh, this is all about uh, treasury yields, apparently. Not exactly sure why. It's about here breaking the, or trying to break the lows. Uh, we've got an August 24th low at 29.73. Must be a bond issue out here and why this one's particularly weak. Volume has picked up, though. We already have, eh, we've got, what? 1.9 million shares. You want to make sure that this thing has less than 2.5 million shares out here, although um, it's going to be tough, I think, to see anything in this that goes past that. Uh, we've got some biotechs out here moving. Uh, a PHG. Take a quick look at that one. PHG. Uh, not a whole lot. Let's go look at Intel. I saw it moving a little earlier and see how some of these tech stocks are moving. Nice little bounce out of this one. Of course, it came off that low of August 24th. Pretty much done nothing but go higher um, in a couple of days that were lower, but uh, nothing. Of course, uh, what you really want to be looking at is uh, the bottom part of my chart out here, which is volume that has been coming off. I don't think this thing is Tremendously changed a uh, trading range. It's probably somewhere in this area uh, going sideways now. It doesn't, probably doesn't have a lot over 30 bucks into Friday's expiration. Uh, but, uh, you know, you've got, if you look at my power law vector indicator number, what you do see, though, is what I've seen in a lot of these stocks. And that is you had a lot of energy on the way down. And these things may have rallied, you know, 40%, 50% back up off these lows. But what you do have is, uh, hang on a second, me. Yeah, I'll get the secure. Get my little malware bites from quit bouncing up during the show. Here. Anyway, uh, volume's okay. Not a, it's been tailing off the last kind of weeks on its way up. Not expecting a whole lot out of it in the uh, coming months. But, uh, not a lot of downside. Still have lots of time. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. I had a question in the den, uh, and I guess we'll cover it because if they have a question... Wow. I imagine other people also do, too. And we were talking about how big the shorts were. And uh, I probably should have clarified it a little bit. When I'm looking at uh, big rips and short squeezes, normally what I want to look at is the days to cover. And that means that if, uh, of course, you've got a million shares, uh, average daily volume over the last 30 days, uh, you figure out, you know, that uh, you've got 2 million shares short. It's going to take two days to cover. So if you've got stocks that are 15 days to cover, uh, it is a combination and a better combination, I think, of just than regular short. Because if you've got massive volume, you can take care of a short fairly quickly. When you have declining volume, as we've had here in the last few days, that's where it gets very tricky. Uh, because, of course, it becomes a much higher percentage of the movement each day in the stock, which is really what you're looking for. How much dynamite is there underneath that particular stock if you're, uh, if you're shorted? And, of course, if you're trying on the other side to start a squeeze and run these shorts out and make a bunch of quick, fast money, it is all about how much and how quick you can run the shorts out of it, and it's all about the days to cover. If volume has been very light, it is an excellent opportunity to see short squeezes 
when it, you've got high days to cover. And like I said earlier, we I've got some stocks that are uh, we're probably going to see the numbers, I think, come out tomorrow. I think they come out tomorrow for the last, of course, the, the closest date that you have right now is the 31st of, of uh, August uh, for numbers out for short interest. But you'll see that number change here in the next, I think, the next day or two. And uh, we'll have a much better read on it then. But you can get an, if you're watching the Stock Center Day, you can see, you know, every time the thing ticks up, 20 shorts jump on it. You probably have a good indication that the, that stock's gaining short interest and not losing it. Uh, if it uh, takes a huge rip higher, normally you can figure that some of the shorts have stopped out. They probably, some will come back, some will not. But generally, that is a declining indication of additional shorts. Um, really, what you want to watch for are these stocks that look like they're almost dead. They go sideways for, you know, a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it seems like there's some news article, and suddenly the thing just gaps up and gaps away, and that's it. And uh, that's why there's so much like dynamite. Uh, they have a big tendency to see uh, stock operators go in there and clean the clocks of those that are unaware. And uh, probably another reason why that old chestnut of being don't be short a quiet market is uh, eh, so uh, well used over uh, 100 years since I've seen it out. We're at uh, we're at 20, yeah, let's call it 28 points on the S&P cash, 2.2 billion shares. Volume is not big, uh, but that's not uncommon. We can continue to see this market drift higher with a lighter volume into the numbers. And, uh, you know, I think if you wanted to short this market, if you thought you had to be shorted, you'd probably want to short it after the FOMC meeting. Just uh, like I said, light volume, Lots of shorts, not a good combination. Uh, I've been here on this on the wrong side of the market too many times. And again, I love Jesse Livermore. Uh, one of his biggest sayings was, of course, there's no bull side to the market and there's no bear side to the market. There's only the right side. And uh, it's never been right for me in a light volume uh, with stocks that are heavily shorted to uh, be short. Anyway, I think we go higher. We'll see you tomorrow and the next day. In the meantime, sell when you can or cover. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.